I'm going to show you guys what it's like to see through my eyes as someone who is quite severely colorblind. My latest gold prospecting video caused an absolute stir when I said that I've never seen green or red before. The first thing you need to know is that there are basically four times of color blindness and in those four categories there's a scale. So it's like from zero where you're not color blind at all in that category to a hundred where you're completely color blind in that category. My category is dewy tan. This is red green color blindness. Now in the video I put up, I held up a pick and I said, this pick is red, and that means it goes faster. And everyone was like, well, you just said that you're red-green colorblind. How the hell do you know what red is? Red is one of the pigments I can't see properly. Depending on the ambient lighting conditions and how that red light is projected, so whether it's from a TV or, in this case, paint, is how it interacts with the world out here. And the same goes for green. Now, I'm assuming that you guys watching this video right now, looking at the Australian bush behind me and saying, Jesus, that's quite green. What if I were to tell you there is not a single green bush out here that I can see? There's not one, not even a, a hint of green anywhere. <laughs> and I know that this is red because in this light, to me, it looks red. But I know that if you saw it through my eyes, you'd be seeing a version of brown. And the way that I know that it is red or that something is green is very simple. If I pointed at the sky when you were a tiny little kid and I said the sky is blue, even though there's clouds here today and it's technically grey, and I kept pointing at that and I kept saying that is blue, that is blue, and every time I saw something else blue like my sunglasses I'd be like that is blue, you would make the association that this and that are the colour blue. Irrespective of what you're actually seeing, this is the hard thing to wrap your head around, you have to forego the idea of normal vision. You don't have that. You don't have the luxury of seeing that. So forever, for your whole life, people have pointed at this particular color and said that, that is blue. So even if that blue color is a pink in your reality, that is considered to be your blue. It's also a reason that colorblind people can see camouflage against backgrounds. They were specifically hired in World War II to look for snipers. Because believe it or not, camouflage does not work for us. We can see it. It's really freaking obvious. So I know that this is red simply because people have pointed at things my entire life and said, this is red. Now, I'm about to turn an app on and record my phone screen that mimics what I see. So I am going to try to explain this the best way I can. There's going to be two pictures on the screen. I see exactly the same picture for both top and bottom. What you see in the colorblind, the dewy tan section, is what it would look like for you to look through my eyes. My reality, both pictures are identical. All right, so we're gonna go over to dewy tan. There we go. Um, so uh, again, I can't see a freaking difference between these two pictures. The one on the right, I believe, yes, is my vision and the one on the left is your vision now we've got it at 100 percent. some things like blues for me in this app don't appear correct um i see blue properly how blue is meant to be seen but in this case just while we're out here these pictures are identical for all intents and purposes now we're going to look at the red scoop you ready there you go so we're going to adjust this a little bit what because this is actually a red that i can C, we're going to go down to, okay, now they're identical. So now they look the same. So you can see that I've had to adjust that down. It just highly depends on the shade of the thing that you're looking at and how that light is projected. Other colors like yellow and whatnot, or gold in this case, I see perfectly fine. There's, there's no difference in that. So it's just reds and greens. The problem is things like Christmas are a nightmare for me. <laughs> Traffic lights, street lights, projected lights on TV. I can't see blood on green. Um, when I was hunting, I could never track animals by blood trails. I had to use other methods. So, yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't have an issue with it because I've grown up my whole life like this and I don't see the world. It doesn't affect me because I've grown up like that, right? But for other people, it's quite shocking.